What specific problem does the proposed method LCB aim to solve in the field of robotics? The proposed method LCB aims to solve the problem of effectively integrating a pre-trained large language model, LLM, with a domain-specific, pre-trained low-level policy in the field of robotics. Specifically, LCB addresses the challenge of enabling robots to perform a variety of manipulation tasks when provided with free, form language descriptions. It seeks to overcome the deficiencies of existing hierarchical architectures, by introducing latent codes as bridges, LCB, which act as an interface between high-level reasoning provided by LLMs and low-level language conditioned policies. LCB combines the benefits of modular hierarchical architectures with end-to-end learning by introducing a learnable less than ACT greater than token at the interface layer to modulate the low-level policies. This approach allows for improved coordination between high-level reasoning and low-level control, transcending the limitations of solely relying on language as the interface layer. By leveraging separate less than ACT greater than tokens, LCB preserves the core language generation and reasoning capabilities of the LLM during fine-tuning, thus enhancing the robot's ability to perform complex tasks that require multi-step planning and reasoning. How does the proposed method LCB work, and what is the role of the less than ACT greater than token? The proposed method LCB works by integrating a pre-trained multimodal large language model, LLM, with a pre-trained policy to enable robots to perform manipulation tasks guided by free-form language descriptions. LCB consists of two main components the pre-trained LLM F underscore FI and the pre-trained policy PI underscore theta. The LLM processes text tokens and images to output text tokens, while the policy takes environment observations and a latent conditioning variable to produce actions. The key innovation of LCB is the introduction of a specialized less than ACT greater than token into the LLM's vocabulary. This less than ACT greater than token prompts the model to predict it in response to actionable questions, and the embedding of this token serves as a latent goal for the downstream policy network. The less than ACT greater than token acts as a bridge between the high-level reasoning of the LLM and the low-level language conditioned policy, allowing for the transmission of abstract goals and nuances that are challenging to convey through language alone. By using the less than ACT greater than token, LCB preserves the language model's embedding space during end-to-end fine-tuning, preventing catastrophic forgetting and enhancing the model's overall performance. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using LCB compared to existing approaches like leveraging predefined skills or language as interface? The theoretical and practical benefits of using latent codes as bridges LCB, compared to existing approaches like leveraging predefined skills or language as an interface are significant. Firstly, LCB overcomes the limitations of predefined skills by introducing a learnable less than ACT greater than token that acts as a bridge between the high-level large language models, LLMs, and low-level language condition policies. This allows for more flexibility and adaptability in task execution as the less than ACT greater than token can convey abstract goals and nuances to the low-level policy that are not easily described through language alone. Secondly, LCB preserves the core language generation and reasoning capabilities of the LLM during fine tuning by leveraging a separate less than ACT greater than token, ensuring that the model does not lose its original capabilities while enhancing the low-level control. Practically, LCB enables robots to perform a variety of manipulation tasks when provided with free form language descriptions. By combining the benefits of modular hierarchical architectures with end-to-end learning, LCB can leverage LLMs for high-level reasoning and pre-trained skills policies for low-level control, while also improving these components through end-to-end learning to enhance their capabilities. This results in improved performance on long horizon and reasoning tasks in benchmarks like Language Table and Calvin, outperforming baselines that rely solely on LLMs to sequence low-level skills using pure language as the interface layer. Overall, 
LCB offers a more versatile and effective approach to integrating language understanding and low-level control in robotics applications, making it a promising solution for complex task execution in varied contexts. How is the method LCB validated and tested in the paper? The method LCB is validated and tested in the paper through a systematic evaluation across a diverse set of environments and tasks to demonstrate the efficacy of integrating a pre-trained large language model, LLM, with a domain-specific, pre-trained low-level policy. The evaluation aims to answer specific questions such as whether LCB enables learning a bridge between the LLM and the policy more effectively than pure language, if LCB can leverage the pre-trained capabilities of LLMs to solve long-horizon tasks by decomposing high-level goals into step-by-step -step latent commands, and if LCB outperforms other baseline methods that leverage closed-sourced state-of-the-art LLMs like GPT-4V. The evaluation is conducted in both the language table and Calvin benchmarks, where LCB is compared against various baselines, including the original language table policy, Langtable plus LLAVA, frozen, Langtable plus GPT-4V, Langtable plus LLAVA, fine-tuned, and other approaches specific to Calvin like RoboFlamingo and 3D Diffusion Actor. The evaluation includes tasks that require reasoning, planning, and long-horizon actions, with results presented in figures and tables showcasing the success rates, trajectory lengths, and performance comparisons against the baselines. The paper provides a detailed analysis of how LCB performs in different scenarios, demonstrating its effectiveness in handling complex tasks that require a combination of language understanding, reasoning, and low-level control. What results were achieved with the LCB method in both language table and Calvin benchmarks? In the language table benchmark, the LCB method demonstrated the ability to seamlessly adapt a pre-trained large language model, LLM, and policy together, achieving success rates that matched or exceeded the baseline approach. Specifically, LCB was able to outperform other methods such as Langtable with a non-fine-tuned LLAVA model, Langtable with GPT-4V, and Langtable with a fine-tuned LLAVA model. The LCB method showed competency in handling complex tasks that require reasoning and planning capabilities, such as sorting blocks based on shape or color into specified corners of the board, resulting in heightened success rates and improved performance compared to pure language interface baselines. In the Calvin benchmark, LCB also excelled by integrating a pre-trained LLAVA as the multimodal large language model backbone with a pre-trained 3D diffusion actor for action policy. This combination allowed LCB to achieve a synergistic effect, showcasing superior performance in both language comprehension and low-level manipulation tasks. LCB significantly outperformed baseline methods such as RoboFlamingo and 3D diffusion actor in terms of task success rate at every stage and in average completed trajectory length. Overall, the results achieved with the LCB method in both language table and Calvin benchmarks demonstrated its effectiveness in integrating pre-trained LLMs with domain-specific, pre-trained low-level policies to successfully execute language-conditioned manipulation tasks in varied and complex environments. What are the limitations or drawbacks of the LCB method according to the paper? The limitations or drawbacks of the LCB method as outlined in the paper include the following. 1. Complexity of implementation. The LCB method introduces an additional latent code as a bridge between the high-level LLM and low-level language condition policy, which adds complexity to the architecture and implementation process. 2. Dependency on language model performance. The effectiveness of LCB relies on the performance and capabilities of the pre-trained large language model, LLM, used, such as LLAVA. If the LLM lacks certain language understanding or reasoning abilities, it may limit the overall performance of LCB. 3. Limited generalization. 
While LCB aims to overcome the limitations of pure language interfaces, it may still face challenges in generalizing to entirely new tasks or instructions that were not encountered during training. This could restrict its adaptability to novel scenarios. 4. End-to-end fine-tuning challenges. Fine-tuning the entire system, including the LLM and policy components, may pose challenges in maintaining the balance between high-level reasoning and low-level control, especially when adapting to new datasets or environments. 5. Computational efficiency. Running the higher-level language model at a slower rate than the lower-level policy, as mentioned in the evaluation, may impact computational efficiency, although it was noted to be effective in maintaining task performance. 6. Interpretability and explainability. The method's reliance on latent codes and embeddings for communication between layers may make it harder to interpret or explain the decision-making process of the system, potentially reducing transparency in its actions. 7. Training data requirements. LCB necessitates strategically curated datasets for effective training, including diverse language instructions and corresponding action pairs, which may require significant effort and resources to collect and pre-process. 8. Performance variability. The performance of LCB could vary based on the complexity of the tasks, the quality of the language instructions provided, and the specific interactions between the LLM and policy components, leading to potential inconsistencies in results across different scenarios. 9. Model flexibility. While LCB aims to provide a flexible approach by introducing a learnable less than ACT greater than token, there may still be limitations in capturing all nuances and abstract goals effectively, especially in tasks that require intricate reasoning or multi-step planning. 10. Integration challenges. Integrating a pre-trained LLM with a pre-trained policy in the LCB framework may require careful tuning and coordination to ensure seamless communication and coordination between the two components, which could pose integration challenges in practice.